also uh, in the Science Museum, and uh, a lot of the stuff is geared towards kids, kind of like the Natural History Museum was. But uh, this exhibit, the climate change exhibit, has a lot of actual data, graphs, core samples, etc. Uh, like this, this flask was used to measure the amount of carbon dioxide uh, using a spectrometer. You collect it, you open it up, collect the air, and then take it back to the lab. And then this is cool. It's the uh, graph of carbon dioxide over time. Uh, so 800,000 years ago, this much. You can see it spiked to about 300 mil parts per million uh, about 350,000 years ago. And now the latest readings looks like it's at about 380 parts per million, which is unprecedented, at least in the last uh, 800,000 years. So they have a lot of actual data showing, uh, and that's just one example, a lot of actual data showing how uh, the earth is warming, the glaciers are melting, um, uh, carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. They have examples from the past where there was kind of this runoff uh, chain reaction where uh, it, the earth would warm up and then methane from the seabed would uh, be released and then interact in the atmosphere to create even more carbon dioxide. Uh, and the climate change that wiped out the dinosaurs 60 some million years ago, they have data that shows it happened at a much slower pace than uh, our current increases in carbon dioxide and our current uh, changes in climate getting warmer. So, yeah, pretty interesting stuff. Looks like uh, humanity is in for a wild ride. Uh, I think we're gonna have, you know, the next major extinction event after, you know, the, comparable to a meteor striking the Earth is uh, just going to be humanity burning all the fossil fuels that were put there millions of years ago and releasing all that carbon back into the atmosphere. But, uh, so I, th I think I'm done with this exhibit. Uh, there was like a, a space exhibit on the first floor uh, with like NASA and space and rockets and satellites and that kind of stuff. Uh, second floor there was some brain, uh, you know, how neurons work, how memories are formed, stuff like that. Uh, this is climate change, and I think I have yet to visit the sort of physics part where I'm talking about atoms and molecules and stuff like that, so I think I'm going to try to uh, make my way over there. Check that out. So, yeah, see you later.